I am joined today by Dr. Henry Throop, astronomer at NASA headquarters. Henry, thank you so much for being with us today. I've been seeing so much buzz about the great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter online. And can you share with us what's the science behind what's happening? Thanks for having me here. It's so great to be able to talk about this conjunction that almost everybody on Earth can see. So what's happening here? Let's step back and look at our planet's place in the solar system. In the solar system, we have one star at the center. That's the sun. And then outward from that, you have the orbits of each of the individual planets. You have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. And then in this case, Jupiter and Saturn are the ones that we're interested in. Now, you can imagine these as being each of the planets is running on its own circle. Uh, essentially, it's like it's like runners on a track where we have the Earth and the Sun at the center, and we are looking outward through the rest of the solar system and be able to see with the rest of the planets outside of us, especially Jupiter and Saturn. Now, every 20 years, uh, ever, actually every 12 years, Jupiter goes around the Sun. Its orbit around the Sun every, is every 12 years. Saturn, the next planet out, is has further to go, and it's moving slower because it's tugged around less strongly by the force of the Sun's gravity. And so Saturn is quite a bit slower. Saturn takes 30 years to go around the Sun, when Jupiter takes 12 years. So every 20 years, Saturn is going to pass, it's, Jupiter is going to pass Saturn in its orbit. And you can imagine this just being like runners on the track. You're standing there at the center and you've got a fast runner on the inside track and they're overtaking and passing the slower runners going further on the outside track. And that's exactly what's happening in our solar system this week. In this diagram here, you can see the, you can see Jupiter as it's uh, approaching Saturn. And then uh, from our perspective on Earth, uh, you'll see it lined up almost in exactly the same place in the sky. Okay, so if this lines up about every 20 years, why is this one occurrence so close together since 1623? That's right. So the planet's orbits are not exactly flat in the solar system. If they were exactly flat, and everything was in the same plane, then the planets would in fact cross in front of each other. And so Jupiter would, would block mm -hmm. Saturn in the sky. Because the planet's orbits are slightly tilted and they're not aligned exactly, then the planets pass near each other, but not exactly in front of each other. Now, usually every 20 years, when Jupiter overtakes Saturn in its orbit, it passes about a degree apart from Saturn in the sky. And a degree is a, about twice the width of the full moon. So you can see them separated very widely in the sky, about like yay. Now this particular time, they're coming very close, and that's just because of the alignment between them. They're not close in space. They're still hundreds of millions of kilometers apart from each other, but they're uh, in the sky. They appear as two points very close in the sky, and it's about a tenth of a degree apart. In fact, they're so close that if you take your pinky and you extend it at your at uh, arm's length, you'll be able to cover both planets with just your pinky finger. Now this is a rare alignment. This happens just about every 400 years. The last time it happened was 400 years ago uh, when the planets were this close in the sky.